Tonight, we want you to hear some beautiful music by dedicated artists who have been at the top of their game for years. CBS 2's Joe Donlin goes to the western suburbs for the sweet sounds of the Wheaton Municipal Band, one of Chicago's hidden gems. Ready? Two, three. They're hitting the high notes here at Memorial Park in downtown Wheaton. This is no garage band. The Wheaton Municipal Band has been making beautiful music since 1930. On Thursdays during the summer, thousands of fans fill the park to enjoy an ensemble of more than 80 highly trained, dedicated musicians for free. It really makes the community shine. The musicians practice together only once before each weekly concert. We were invited to a recent rehearsal and were blown away. Let's hold the tempo. Ready? And. Dr. Bruce Moss is the band's music director and conductor. He's been doing it for 44 years. It's exhilarating. I, I, I really love it. I, this is what I wanted to do. And he has great respect for the folks who take his direction. They're excellent musicians, or they would not have made the cut to get in the group. Many are college music majors, but many are not. And this is what makes the, the mix interesting. <laughs> Who's the better musician? That's a, I will say me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say I'm, you're, you're both I'm humble. humble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, I have the harder instrument, though. You have the what? The harder instrument to play. French horn's harder to play? Yes. You were saying that the I, trombone's easy to play? Yeah. <laughs> Relatively speaking, I have to agree with Michael. <laughs> Al Lake and Michael Thorson have been with the band for a while. So who's the longest tenured? That would be me. Yeah. And um, this is my 59th year. My kids have come out here. My grandkids come out here. Uh, it's been part of my family. Compared to Al, Mike's a newbie at 49 years in the band. We enjoy playing with each other. I mean, there's a lot of people that have been in the band a long time and uh, keep coming back, so having that continuity also helps. But 20-year-old Ellie Pierzina is the newbie. This is her first year with the band. I like to be the youngest. I think it's awesome. These people are so experienced in their fields, and I just feel like I learned so much. Everybody here is so kind. But it truly takes a village to pull all this off. The city of Wheaton sponsors us. This is a big deal. The band also has an education outreach program. Student trumpet players Sebastian and Doyle actually got to perform with the group earlier this summer. We played the first, the first concert. It was. Great. I liked being near the people that knew a lot more than me. Whether they're experienced or just starting out, everyone we spoke with agreed there is something really special here. It's a passion. It's a connection with the people. And we get this wonderful respect. It's great. And it's not just the band. It's the community, the spirit, uh, the, the joy that people get from this. It's a wonderful experience and it's a great way to share the joy of making music. Well, the band had many success stories, including two former members who are now with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra and several who were with the president's own Marine Band. And while the season is winding down soon, the Wheaton Municipal Band will be busy. For the third time, it has been invited to be part of Midwest Clinic, one of the largest annual instrumental music conferences, and that's this December at McCormick Place.